TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right behind me, man. This is a warning. I don't think nothing is that deep in this video, but we'll see. Um, also, man, twitch.com. The link, the username is at the bottom of the screen if you ever want to type it into the lives. Don't forget we got merch and we got Patreon as well where we post Monday through Friday. Things that we cannot post on YouTube. This is asking the least diverse place in England if they support immigration. Extreme Britain. That's on Politics Joe's channel. Salute to that brother. Let me make sure I sub up. Hit the like button before I even watch. And remember, if you don't watch your videos on my vid channel, just leave a comment and say take it down. That's all you got to say and it's gone. <laughs> Let's get into it. Copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. My bad, I didn't sneeze and forgot to un <laughs> like to talk to me. Immigration is going up. And given they keep promising to cut it, the government aren't particularly happy about it. Immigration is a bit of a sticky issue for this government. On the one hand, they need people to fill all the vacancies in sectors like hospitality and healthcare. And on the other, they need someone to blame. It's a lot easier right. to blame pesky brown people than it is to accept any sort of responsibility for the mess the country's in. Right-wing politicians like to tell us that Britain's culture is being eroded by immigration. It's an effort to frighten people who might not have come across much of it. People who live in places like Workington in Cumbria, the whitest place in the country. Workington is the least diverse parliamentary constituency. 98.5% of people here identify as white British. And while it is really, really white right now, that's pretty likely to change. Cumbria is becoming more diverse really quickly with the non-white... See, in America, I'd be scared to, places, scared to go into places that's 98% of anything. You feel me? I, I just, it's just an uncomfortable feeling. And I'm not talking just one, I'm talking anything. 98, you, it could be 98% black. And I'm black. I'm gonna look like, man, hold on now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna second guess this. I am not. Population projected. I need diversity. The 10% by 2031. So that means things around here might look a wee bit different. Places like Workington are changing. And I want to see if people here are worried about it. That's why I'm in Workington to ask. How do you feel about immigration at the moment? Well, I, I understand people want a better life and to come into Britain is a better life, I suppose, for them. But as long as they're prepared to work, mm. you know, if they're prepared to work and earn their living and, you know, pay into our taxes and that, bring them on. I do think it's out of control. I think the, the Conservative government have said that they would cut down on it, but the numbers are just going up and up and up. So, yeah, I'd like to see more control. What would that entail, do you think? Uh, I don't really want to go into details, but it's a bit... Mm, go into detail. Because you know going into detail will make you sound real, real, real questionable. It's a bit of a, an emotive subject, isn't it? So, yeah. no, I'd rather not give too many details. She is very educated. On that, thank you. I mean, to be fair, we, it's definitely been noticeable over the past couple of years that like it's more diverse. Um, there's a lot of old people though that are stuck in the ways. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like to think of myself as colorblind, and when I say that, I mean I don't care. Mm -hmm. And I, and also, I have to caveat that by saying when I don't care, I mean it doesn't matter to me. It matters not. <laughs> stuck in your way, in the way. Agreed. I'm that type of person. But also, like I said. If I walk into anywhere and it's 98%, I, I, I don't know what's going on in this town. I got to get out of here. Uh. What do you mean by that? Racist. <laughs> very racist yes. old people here. And it's like, they're very much like, oh, back in my day, but obviously they've, they've been here while things have changed and they, they just haven't adapted to it. But if it wasn't for them people coming from abroad, 
you know, we wouldn't have because the, the wages are poor. You know, the, the nurses through, through COVID and that, they worked tirelessly, didn't they? Doctors as well. Mm. And they should, they, they should be um, paid for now. Whatever they want, they should get because if they come out on a strike, there'll be no, there'll be you know, like full time, you know what I mean? There'll be no NHS and people would die. Yeah. I had a kidney transplant 26 years ago. And if it wasn't for the National Health, then I wouldn't be here, you know. Yeah. Hospitality is a massive driver of immigration to the country because we need a lot of people from abroad to fill the roles in hospitality. Can you talk about like, kind of the importance of immigration to hospitality? It's a very, very sensitive subject. I've found that with a lot of people. A good example for me would be, you know, if someone who's willing and hardworking. I mean, there was the running gag of people, you know, from, um, what was it? Eastern European, more than anything, you know, I've had uh, one of the l most loveliest individuals I've worked with was Eastern European. She was very small, but she was an absolute... Eastern European? Absolute machine, she just kept going and going and going. But also, from a personal level, she was lovely, whereas, you know, great, lovely. Whereas on the flip side, more or less, I'd say down south, you know, you've had it where the some of these places have been given government grants and they've allowed, you know, replacing existing staff there or just filling them in and then they're, then they're being ran into the ground, essentially. You know, I get that there may be a language barrier, but that falls on both sides of things. If you're willing to work and willing to work hard, but then again, also, if you're going to employ people like that, you know, you should be willing to sit down and say, are you struggling a bit? Are you struggling with your English? We've got college courses, we've got level two maths in English, which is compulsory for a lot of job roles and make a bit more care. So it works on both fronts, I feel. So are you concerned about kind of the, the, the potential for people to be exploited? He's also really well-spoken, more than I would have thought. It's in the industry. Um, when it comes to foreign yeah. and immigration, yes, yeah. I am on that one because a lot of myself, you know, I've got a lot of ideas, but also, you know, after working in something, a trade like that for so long, you do get the people on the side of the fence that go, oh yeah, great, the whole work is get them in and let's load them with 50 hours a week, 60 hours a week. They're not going to say anything, they need the money. And that is disgraceful yeah. behaviour. At one time... That's unfair. You're taking advantage at that point. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, hey, it's two sides of a coin. Uh, a local saying, greeting at Carlisle and over here, was cause. Because most people weren't as close as related as six cousin. <laughs> it was that close, a community. <laughs> so so there, should, there should be more diversity in the community, probably. Uh, oh, these are going back about well, a hundred years. Okay. <laughs> do you think they're, they're frightened of something? Do you think they're frightened of change? I do think there's a lot of like stigma around sort of people coming from different places, and I think that's obviously like just what they were brought up to believe so they're trying to pass that down but i do think it's, it's definitely more the older generation that uh, they do have that kind of figure but unnecessary fear i guess well i'm not against it but i am against religion ru ruling the authorities as has been a case in america He's against religion or ruling authorities yeah where the police arrested a couple of women Right, and took pictures of them with the headgear off, and they're being sued mm -hmm. for compensation. Mm -hmm. Religion, they say the headgear is religious costume. That's why I'm against religion. Mm -hmm. Religion is dictating to the people too much. Do you, do you think that's the case in the UK? Yes, because of these uh, demonstrations about the Israeli. Uh, speak on nobody's religion or anything of that nature, so I just... War mm -hmm. in Gaza. Mm. Right. Before... Oh, God. There were no such thing as demonstrations. There hasn't been the big demonstrations against the Ukraine war either. I'm sick of repeating myself, but they're coming into this country, they're, they're working, they're paying into our economy, they're a, a lot of asset to our country, so I don't know why, you know, they should... In I feel like I never deep looked that deep into it. Like, I never had any, uh, like, I never cared. <laughs> I'm being real with you. I do me, and, you know, people that come to America, they do them. Now, if I do see some, like, if I hear some stuff going on in the news, that this certain person came from this place, and they're doing this, that, and the third, and it's negative, all right, let's take note of it, but, you know, 
at the same time, you can't judge a whole group of people based off of a couple bad apples. And, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of the times that would be happening. A whole group of people is judged by a few, 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 few characters that are not up to par with humanity. Encourage you, but encourage in the legal way. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel sorry for these people coming over on the boats and that because it's dangerous. Mm. But if they go on th- the right protocol and the right ways, mm. they may be getting a lot easier. Yeah? The, the problem is they've shut all the legal ways to do it, so they don't have an option, those people. No, well, true. But when it right, does right. come no to politics, I feel it is very much a box ticking exercise. You know, they're trying to say the right thing instead of looking at the bigger problems. Mm. Um, what are those problems? So, I mean, personally, I mean, your veteran situation will be one of them, you know. Um, I mean, DEI, I mean, you, you're within media, you know what DEI is, anything like that. I mean, I had a big disagreement with um, the NHS on a personal level, which was, it was the diversity highs and whatnot. And it was more, no, the one diversity highs, there were diversity officers ensuring, whereas you've got nurses standing out there on picket lines. You know, I had a bike accident a few years ago. I've been in, a, like, almost the equivalent of an ICU where these poor lasses and doctors and whatnot have been running around and you want to pay a large sum of money to people to say, oh yes, you're great for the job because, like I've just said, that's my disagreement. Because if you're of this race, you're of this creed. Whereas you could say, well, I'll tell you what, we've got hardworking individuals, let's help them out. It's forever, it's the same with the rails and everything, they're forever on strike. So instead of doing this, why not give people to, you know, the people who are working? And I just feel it's, it's become a lot that way of, mm-hmm. same with media, same with, uh, I mean, films especially. Disney at the moment, you know, you've, you've forgotten what made you great. You know, people don't want to be beaten over the head. They they want they want nice things. They want stories. We all work. Everyone in the same boat. We all work hard enough and long enough to have that bit of enjoyment. Mm-hmm. And sometimes things don't need a message. Sometimes it just needs to be fun. The joys of being a child. How would you describe working? One hundred percent. Because most children is gonna miss the message anyway. They just trying to watch to have a good time, sing along, and they do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, small, <laughs> small, quiet. A um, lot of small town syndrome. Everybody knows everybody. Yeah. Is that, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, it depends. Depends who you ask. <laughs> well, I'm asking. I'm asking you. So. <laughs> I'd say it's a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like to see change? Do you think? Just more stuff to do, like especially for like kids and like teenagers and stuff. There's there's nothing for them around here. Well, I find it all right as a town. I was brought up on the east side of the county, a place called Alston, mm-hmm. and that hasn't half gone down. Really? Yeah. Why? Why is that? Half of the population, the main industry's gone. Like here, a lot of industries gone here since I come over in in '76. Mm-hmm. Did you grow up right here? Yes. What did you do when you were a teenager? Um, how legal is this? <laughs> no, um, I mean, we just, like, loitered a lot, really. There used to be um, a couple of youth clubs when I was growing up, but they didn't last very long because the... the, the was... Bro, what do you mean when you were growing up? You, you look 18, 19, you look 17. Just nothing to do at them, yeah. really. I think the government understands kind of the scale of this issue. No, they don't. In fact, I wrote a few, good few years ago about Northern Rock Bank. Mm-hmm. had shares in it. I, had, I wrote six peers claiming it was stolen under the ground of the Magna Carta and Bill of Rights. And it states in that bill, no freeborn man shall be seized, detained in prison, goods taken away from or maligned without being tried by his peers or law of the land. No freeborn man shall be delayed or denied justice, which has happened with Northern Rock. Right. I've proved my ancestry back to where I could prove that I am a descendant of a three-born man there, and I quoted that. Mm-hmm. I got one reply back. What is it? Doesn't concern me, not interested. Guys think you'll stay in Rickerton? I don't want to long term, um, but I, I mean, I've got a child that's in school and like, so it, it all really falls down to her. What she- Hold on, ma'am. How old are you? You got good genes. You look like young. She wants to do when she gets Super older, young. but I don't want to. Yeah, what about you? Um, I would love to go to somewhere different where there's more things to do. Like, I kind of would like to move to a city, but also when you're in a city for a like, I've got, I've got small town syndrome. Like, <laughs> when we were in yeah, when we were in Glasgow, 
like I just oh it's just so different like I, I couldn't handle it I was like mm, I just want to be back home <laughs> Some interesting takes, man. This is an interesting channel, man. Polit Politics Joe. All right. Thank you. <laughs>